What is going on everybody? This is always back with another video on the channel. Today's topic is JUnit. Unit testing is a critical part of any application development. So we are going to look at how to do unit testing with JUnit in Java. And if you are confused and not sure what is JUnit, then don't worry, I will cover every single thing you need to know about JUnit and how to test Java application using JUnit. Let's start by talking about how to test a program. When a programmer is given an assignment to write a Java program, they are usually given a set of business rules as well as sample input and expected output. All this information is used by a programmer to write a program. And when the coding is done, it is used as a guide to test the application. That's where the JUnit comes to play. JUnit is a Java library designed to help you perform this unit testing. Unit testing is a process of examining a small unit or a piece of a software to verify that it meets the business rules provided. The goal is to assert the expected behavior or state. It is important to understand that JUnit is not part of standard Java class library, but it does come included with some popular IDEs such as IntelliJ IDEA, Clips, and NetBeans. There are many ways to test your code, including using the IDE debugging tool or simply adding some print statement to print the result to the output console. These options are great when you are working on your code and trying to debug any logic error, but both styles of test are limited because they require human judgment to analyze the result. So in addition to debugging tools and print statements, we needed a way to continue testing. This is where JUnit comes in handy. It provides automated testing and validation. Remember, good unit testing is a critical to the success of your application. Have you ever seen an error when visiting a website and you receive a HTTP 404 message, which means page not found? These types of problems cause the end user to lose confidence in your application. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly test every possible scenario. This can be time consuming, but using JUnit, you can run several tests with one execution. When testing, we need to identify any input to the method in our code, as well as expected results. It is important to note that once all unit testing is complete, you still need to run integration tests for any application that have complex user interface or other components interaction. Integration test aims to test the behavior of a component or the integration between multiple components. These tests are used to test the entire system. Finally, another type of testing is performance testing. These tests are used to benchmark the software by running repeatedly to simulate a user traffic on your application. The purpose is to ensure the code runs fast enough under a high traffic load. JUnit is not set up to do integration or performance testing but it will help you to get your unit testing done completely and efficiently. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And be sure to follow me on Twitter if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.